Both the Gold Source and Source engine just has this weird, distinct feeling to it. A strange feeling of isolation with drabs of nostalgic memories that don't even exist. Valve made something truly remarkable, but this odd feeling of liminality is at its peak with community-made maps. Today we're going to be looking at some of the oddly comforting Source slash Gold Source engine maps. FY Pool Day was created by Squall in 2001, 22 years ago, and this map exploded in the custom scene in Classic Counter-Strike. It's an extremely tight map, and people who have played Pool Day in its heyday remember how chaotic the gameplay was due to its small size. There's something about FY Pool Day that stood out to me as a younger lad, and the vibe it contained still has a profound impression on me. Overall, it's a dope-ass map, what can I say? Let's move on to something different. Trade underscore Plaza. This map was a staple in the Team Fortress 2 trading community, and if you've been around TF2 during its 2010 to 2015 heyday, you've probably played on a Trade Plaza server. It's hard to say it's early origins, but from what I've gathered, it was made by a person named the Asylum of the Devatory. Quite the name. If you were a more experienced trade plaza connoisseur like me, you may have participated in spy crabbing, a way where TF2 players can gamble their hats and items, hopefully with a middleman, and this took the TF2 training community by storm. I remember when I risked it all, earbuds and an unusual, when I was a little tyke, and I fucking won. It was probably like 200 bucks or something, but kids do not gamble. Last but not least is Op. Lego. Its origins remain a mystery. I tried and tried and tried, I promise, to find the actual origins of this map, but to no avail, I found nothing. So for the sake of this video, this map was created by an unknown designer, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but this map stuck out during its peak for obvious reasons and is still an extremely popular map, not only for 1.6, Source, but also CSGO and probably CS2 upcoming. The map gained its popularity due to its simple but fun gameplay loop and the use of ops. The memories, I'm telling you, man. There are thousands of Source Engine maps that have this oddly comforting aura to it, if I could explain it like that. I could go on for hours, but for those who have experienced this in its peak 2004 to 2009, know what I'm talking about in its purest form. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Peace.